Surveillance video captured the incredible moment a Tampa woman fought off an attacker at her apartment complex's gym. I said, if I keep going, if I keep pushing, I keep fighting, he's going to stop. He's going to let go, and he finally did. 24-year-old Nishali Alma, a personal trainer, told Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputies she was exercising alone around 10 p.m. on January 22nd when she saw a man she'd previously seen at the gym trying to get in. Whenever he was at the door, I buzzed him in and he came inside. My thought process was, like you said, like it was just another dude coming in to work out. But after 25-year-old Xavier Thomas Jones entered, this happened instead. Next thing you know, I get up from doing my workout and I grab my phone and he just approaches me and not a single word was exchanged. As soon as he was approaching me, I pushed him. I said, bro, what the F are you doing? Uh, I said, get away from me. And he kept trying to come towards me and kept reapproaching me. Video shows Thomas Jones chasing her around the gym before grabbing Alma and pinning her down. In my mind, I knew I was stronger than him and I knew I could fight back. The seasoned weightlifter seen here holding her attacker in a chokehold while trying to call 911 before throwing more punches, leading Thomas Jones to release his grip. Self-defense expert Patrick Lockton at New York City's Krav Maga Institute says Alma's quick thinking under pressure was key. She fought back. And the most important thing, she didn't freeze. She didn't fall into that trap. Alma immediately ran outside, escaping to a nearby apartment. Now, she's sharing her story and encouraging other women with similar experiences to do the same. No other person should go through this. No other person should have to feel like this. No other person should have to go through a situation like this. Experts say avoiding an incident like this starts with being aware of your surroundings and moving quickly if you're in danger. Getting in the way, creating obstacles, creating an opportunity, a space between you and your attacker. So I'd be going straight for, for vulnerable. So again, just the, the eyes hitting him in the nose with a phone, striking him in the throat because everybody's soft tissue there, it's soft tissue in your eyes as well, and it's going to hurt everybody no matter how strong you are. Authorities were able to track down Thomas Jones and arrested him the next day. He pled not guilty to charges of sexual battery, false imprisonment, and kidnapping, and will appear in court next month. An attorney for Thomas Jones did not respond to NBC's request for comment. The day he was arrested and the day they caught him, I saw, I saw the whole thing go down. It was a relief. Priscilla Thompson, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.